when you look at the improvements Nebraska has made on offense, I think it all starts with Tommy Armstrong and just the way Nebraska has started to use him more in the running game. He's getting about 10 to 13 designed run plays a game, and I just think that added element has taken pressure off the running backs and the offensive line, and I expect to see more and more of that here in conference play. As you zone in here on this Northwestern matchup with their offense, it all starts with quarterback Clayton Thorson. He had a career game last week against Duke, throwing for over 300 yards. Before that, he had only thrown for over 200 just one time. So Thorson appears to have taken a big step forward. And I think if Nebraska learned their lesson last year, it was that Thorson could take off and run, even though he's really not the fastest quarterback in space. Well, if there's one thing we've learned about Nebraska and Northwestern, it's expect the unexpected. The road team has won all but one time in this series, and that one time being on Jordan Westerkamp's Hail Mary to beat the Wildcats here in Lincoln. I think the Wildcats are going to come into this game a very desperate football team. They're one and two, which means they're going to have to win five Big Ten games to go to a bowl game, and that will not be easy when you look at their schedule. So this game against Nebraska for them almost takes on that must win type of category. The Huskers are obviously on the road this week, but it really will have more of a neutral site feel, if not more of a home feel. I think you'll see over 25,000 Nebraska fans in Evanston, probably the most we've seen since the Huskers have joined the Big Ten. The timing of this trip just makes a lot of sense coming off a big win, great weather in Chicago. Uh, I think it just will have a great feel for this team, especially going on the road here for the first time with the Huskers here in Lincoln. I'm Sean Catlahan of HuskerOnline.com for KTV Newswatch 7 Sports.